Unit 6, Lesson 7. Revisit Percentages. Number 1. A crew has paved three-fourths of a mile of road. If they have completed 50% of the work, how long is the road they are paving? In this diagram, I have 100% of the road represented. I've cut that in half to represent 50%, and inside that 50%, I have three-fourths of a mile. Since they've paved three-fourths of the mile, and they've completed 50% of the work. For 100% of the work, I'd simply double the 50%, or double 3 fourths of a mile. And 3 fourths plus 3 fourths is 1 and a half miles. Number 2. 40% of X is 35. A. Write an equation that shows the relationship of 40% X and 35. I've written three equations for you to choose from. 4 tenths x equals 35, or 40 hundredths x equals 35, or the fraction version of 4 tenths x equals 35. B. Use your equation to find x. Show your reasoning. 4 tenths x equals 35. That's the same as 4 tenths times x equals 35. To solve for x, we can do 35 divided by 4 tenths equals x. 35 divided by 4 tenths equals x. To do that division problem, we would multiply by the reciprocal of 4 tenths, 35 times 10 fourths, and that equals 350 fourths. And 350 fourths means 350 divided by 4, and that is 87 and 5 tenths. So x equals 87 and 5 tenths. Number 3. Priya has completed 9 exam questions. This is 60% of the questions on the exam. A. Write an equation representing this situation. Explain the meaning of any variables you use. 9 equals 6 tenths times x or 9 equals 60 hundredths times x and the X represents the number of questions on the test. B. How many questions are on the exam? Show your reasoning. Nine questions divided by six tenths, or 60%, will tell me the number of questions that are on the test. Nine divided by six tenths can be figured out by multiplying times the reciprocal of six tenths. So nine times 10 sixths equals X. Nine times 10 sixths equals 30 halves or 15. So x equals 15. There are 15 questions on the exam. Here's another way to look at it. Nine questions completed divided by the x number of questions equals 60 percent. And 60 percent can be rewritten as 60 out of 100. So 9 over x equals 60 over 100, which can also be written as 9 over x equals 6 tenths. And of course 9 over x means 9 divided by x. So 9 divided by x equals 6 tenths, which can be rewritten as 9 divided by 6 tenths equals x, since we're solving for x and we need to get the x alone. 9 divided by 6 tenths can be done by multiplying by the reciprocal of 6 tenths, which is 10 sixths. So 9 times 10 sixths equals x, and 9 times 10 sixths equals 30 halves or 15, and again x equals 15, and x represents the number of questions on the exam. Number 4. Answer each question. Show your reasoning. A. 20% of A is 11. What is A? Well I know 20% goes into 100% 5 times. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. That's 5 times. So 100% would include five sections, and each section would be worth 20%. And they say in this equation that 20% of A is 11. So I've put the value of 11 inside each of the five sections. And 5 times 11, or 11 times 5, is 55. So the value for A is 55. B. 75% of B is 12. What is B? So in my diagram, I have 100% divided into four sections, 
Inside each of the four sections, I've put four because 75% is three fourths. And so three out of the four boxes needs to be worth 12. So four plus four plus four, which represents 75%, is equal to 12. 100% would be equal to 16. So B equals 16, or four times four equals 16. C. 80% of C is 20. What is C? So I'll do this one without drawing the diagrams. I'm just going to translate it. 80% is the same as 80 out of 100 or 80 over 100. Of means times and is means equals. So I can rewrite this as 80 over 100 times C equals 20. Now that I have it rewritten, I remember that we're solving for C, so we have to get C by itself. 20 divided by 80 hundredths will equal C. Just like 2 times 10 equals 20, 20 divided by 2 equals 10. So just like 80 hundredths times C equals 20, 20 divided by 80 hundredths will equal C. To do this division problem, we'll have to multiply by the reciprocal of 80 hundredths. So 20 times 180th equals 100 fourths, or 100 divided by 4, which is 25. C is 25. D. 200% of D is 18. What is D? This time, I used a chart. 200% of D equals 18. 200% divided by 2 gives me 100%. I also need to divide the 18 by 2, and that gives me 9. So I know that 100% of D equals 9, or D equals 9. Number 5. For the equation 2n minus 3 equals 7, A. What is the variable? In that equation, the n is the variable. B. What is the coefficient of the variable? The coefficient in this equation is 2. C. Which of these is the solution to the equation? 2, 3, 5, 7, or n? Well, I substituted the 5 for the n, and I have 2 times 5 minus 3 equals 7. And I tested it out. 2 times 5 equals 10 minus 3 equals 7. So the solution to the equation is 5. Number 6. Which of these is a solution to the equation 1 8 equals 2 fifths times x? So this can be translated as 2 fifths times what number equals 1 8? So I substituted these numbers for x until I figured out which one was the correct one. I chose b. 5 sixteenths. 1 eighth equals 2 fifths times 5 sixteenths. And 2 fifths times 5 sixteenths is 10 eightieths or 1 eighth. So it's true. 1 eighth does equal 2 fifths times 5 sixteenths. Number 7. Find the quotients. The strategy here is to turn these decimals into whole numbers. A. Nine thousandths divided by one thousandths. That's the same as nine divided by one. And nine divided by one is nine. Or one goes into nine nine times. I turn them into whole numbers by making the nine thousandths a thousand times bigger and making it a nine. As you can see, I moved the decimal point three places to the right to make it a thousand times greater. I also needed to do that to the one thousandths. I moved that decimal three places to the right to make it a thousand times greater. B. Nine thousandths divided by two thousandths. I used the same strategy. I made both numbers a thousand times greater. So I have nine divided by two. And 9 divided by 2 equals 4 and 5 tenths. C. 45 ten thousandths divided by 1 thousandths. 
This time I needed to make the 45 ten thousandths 10,000 times bigger, so I moved the decimal four places to the right. And I had to do that to the one thousandths also, placing a zero as a placeholder so that one thousandths would become 10. And 45 divided by 10 is four and five tenths. D, 45 ten thousandths divided by two thousandths. I had to make the 45 ten thousandths 10,000 times bigger to make it equal to 45. Therefore, I needed to make the 2 thousandths 10,000 times bigger also, making it worth 20. And 45 divided by 20 is 2 and 25 hundredths. Congratulations, you've completed Unit 6, Lesson 7. Revisit Percentages. Music